Hey guys, good evening. Welcome to day eight of 365 Days of Courage for Men or Courage for Women. We don't discriminate. Uh, anybody can listen to these lessons and uh, we're going to jump right in. So for today, January 8th, stand strong. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place. Ephesians 6 and 14. With truth securely wrapped around us and the breastplate of righteousness covering our hearts, we are able to stand firm in Christ and all that he has already accomplished. Our struggles are not against flesh and blood, as verse 11 of this chapter in Ephesians clearly says. Let's have the courage to see people with compassion, even those who press our buttons, and understand that the struggles we face are much deeper. Stand, stand firm, Stand your ground. This encouragement is given time and time again in this little passage of scripture. It takes courage to stand when there are forces coming against us. It takes faith to trust that God will not leave us when the storms come. And he says to persist in standing our ground. The ground we are standing on is not that of political power, prestige, or affluent influence. It is the ground of his law of love. Let's never waver from it. Your act of courage for today when you're tempted to insult someone or disparage them, even in your own land, let love cover your thoughts and then choose to extend mercy and compassion instead. Daily Wisdom for Men on January 8th. What are you storing up for yourself? But store up, yourself, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where therein lies do not break in and steal. Matthew 6 and 20. Jesus knew that every person is trying to store something or hold on to something for the future. In his day, the religious leaders tried to hold on to the praise and admiration of the public. Even his own disciples argued over who was the greatest and who would sit at the right hand of Jesus. What are you holding on today? What are you trying to store up for the future? There's a good chance that you want to be regarded well by others, to have some financial security, and to have a measure of certainty about the future. Yet those goals and desires can get in the way of the treasure God wants to give you. There is a different kind of treasure you can store up and hold on to, trusting that God will reward your obedience and the grace you show toward others. The certainty you seek can be converted into faith in God, and this faith is what he promises to reward. Yet those rewards remain unseen and even unknown. You don't know exactly what your reward will be. But if you look to Jesus in faith, God has promised to reward you. Jesus, help me to live my life in faith, trusting in the rewards you have stored up in heaven. And then, if you're new here, I also read a passage from the Havamal. It is from the Poetic Eddas, the Prose Eddas, from the North Sagas. And we just, we're going to read one page, a couple stanzas here. To, to his friend, a man should be a friend, and gifts with gifts requite. Laughter with laughter men should receive, but repay treachery with lies. To his friend, a man should be a friend, to him and to his friend, but of his foe no man shall the friend's friend be. No, if thou hast a friend whom thou fully, fully trustest, and from whom thou wouldest good derive, thou shouldest blend thy mind with his, and gifts exchange, and often go to see him. If thou, if thou hast another whom thou little trustest, yet wouldest good from him derive, thou shouldest speak him fair, but think craftily, and repay, repay treachery with lies. So guys, this book, the language is a bit hard, because they're, they're translating it from Icelandic or Old Norse to English. Uh, but I mean, this is kind of talking about when you have a good friend, be good to each other. And if it's somebody that lies to you, don't, you know, it, it actually tells you a lot of them, which is not the best, uh, not the best um, advice to give. But I think it's maybe what's lost in translate, uh, you know, translation into English. And that's it for today. Um, if you guys are watching on YouTube, you can hit that subscribe button and look at the playlist we have every day listed. If you're watching on Facebook, you can hit that follow button. And uh, you can, there's an album that these are all listed in, all the videos. Uh, they're in there, you know, chronologically. And uh, if you like what I'm doing, uh, please hit that like button. Thanks. See you tomorrow.